For this application, we're going to use a PSA over laminate with a carrier to run our print through the machine. So the first thing I'll do is open my cradles, take out the rewind supply shaft. You'll notice that these shafts have arrow indicators which point to the tongue. The tongue fits into a groove over on this side which allows you to use your clutch setting for your rewind. Now I'm going to load the PSA over laminate on the machine. One thing to note is films can come in wound in one or two directions. This is what's known as a poly in where the release liner is on the inside of the roll with the adhesive. The other product that you can get is called poly out and that's where the film is on the inside and the release liner is on the outside with the adhesive. This happens to be the poly in, so when I put it on the machine, it's going to unroll from the bottom of the roll. If it were a poly out, it would unroll from the top. So I'll open up the cradles. Put the film on. Line that up. I'm going to get it centered in the machine as much as possible. Okay. I'm going to come around to the front. Now I talked about a little bit about the brake and the clutch settings on the machine. You'll notice that these are really loose right now, so I want to have a little bit of tension on these so that they don't just free spin like this. So what I do is I grab hold of my film and I just give it a little bit of break until I feel some resistance. Then I'll do the same thing with the unwind or with the rewind shaft. I'll just turn this until I feel some resistance. Now you'll notice that when I turn one shaft, the other turns. These two are linked together. So keep in mind that whatever you make an adjustment to here will affect the other one. So if I add brake here, it's going to affect the clutch setting on this. Okay? So what I'll do is now I'm going to bring my film through like this. I'm going to go underneath my idle bar and then I'm going to bring it up to this and attach it to the rewind tube. So I'll take a piece of tape. I have a piece of masking tape. I'm going to twist that 180 degrees so that I have adhesive here and adhesive here. I will attach that to the tube like this and I'm going to bring this up, attach this then I'll wind up about a roll, one full turn. I'm going to take my knife and carefully I'm going to score the film. I don't want to cut through the liner. I just want to cut the film. So you see this. I'll bring that down and I'll just let it rest. The next thing I'm going to do is this is what's called a 
a, a, a carrier. So I have some old release liner that I've kept from the previous job because there's a silicone coating on here. And I'll put that down here. And I'm going to run this in like this. My rollers are gapped, so I'll run that through so that I have it coming out the back side. And I want to come around, make sure that I'm not going to wrap up around that roller. our film. Okay. I will take the film and tuck it underneath like this. Get that into the nip area. I'm going to go ahead and close my rollers. I'm going to use my foot pedal to get that started through the machine. See, I've got some rivers and wrinkles going right through here. I'm going to add a little bit of break to that. That'll start to pull out. If it continues, what I'll do is release my foot pedal, shut the machine down, and come around to the back side, and just lightly pull until I see that film flatten out on that roller. Come over, go ahead and close the roller. I bring my print over, put it on the, the old release liner. Now as this runs through, you're going to see some wrinkling on that liner because I don't have any brake tension on it, so it's just floating through the machine. I can add a little bit of tension to it by holding it with my fingers. Once it clears the back side, I can go ahead and shut it off. Go back and cut it out and then we'll get ready to mount it.